a blogger bought a rundown trailer for $1,000 and transformed it into a stunning new home. Of all the vacations a person can take in their lifetime, a road trip across America is perhaps one of the most iconic. Thousands of miles of highways stripe the country, giving you access to every city and town from behind the wheel of your vehicle. And if one's vision of road tripping comes with camping along the way, then there's no better way to do it than with a trailer in tow. Some are over-the-top extravagant with all the bells and whistles of home, while others provide the bare minimum to let you sleep comfortably and safety. To say that Mandy Gubler found a trailer from the latter category would be an understatement, but the 1973 Bell Travel Trailer she bought in despair wouldn't stay that way for long. With her own two hands, she made the perfect companion for her own road trips across the country. For Gubler, taking the helm of a seemingly impossible makeover project was nothing out of the ordinary. She runs a website called Vintage Revivals, where she blogs about her many forays into DIYing and interior design, and provides her readers with tips for projects of their own. And as it turns out, buying a trailer had been a dream of Gubler's for a long time. In a 2014 blog, just after finding the camper she would eventually renovate, she wrote, for some reason or another, I just couldn't find one for the better part of two years. But a casual Saturday morning browse of Craigslist antique section left her stunned. There she found a listing for a small vintage camper, just as adorable as the one she had envisioned. I just had to see it, she confessed in the same post. The DIY blogger also knew that the vehicle built four decades prior would not be in perfect condition when she arrived. When you're shopping for a vintage trailer, there are a few things to keep in mind, she wrote. They're all damaged, all of them. She expected there might be deterioration caused by water leakage or cracks in the exterior siding or frame. There could even be electrical issues or tires unfit for the road. Problems extending beyond the cosmetic could have been plentiful and could have stopped her from buying the trailer. And when she finally saw the trailer in person, she did indeed find it was imperfect. The then owner had previous trouble with the electrical system, which had required new brake lights. There was also merely a strip of aluminum tape holding the trailer's exterior siding together. Mom of two, Gubbler, also noted that the trailer's interior was functional, though very teensy, as she put it. A small kitchen table dropped down to lay the base for a double bed, and despite the small proportions, four people could sleep inside when a further upper bunk was pulled out. 